So, um, this is kind of an unexpected video. Now, a lot of people might be asking, Zed, you don't normally do these type of videos. Let me explain. So, I'm just literally making this video to get this off my chest because I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to just brush some stuff off and just release it within the video because, like I said, doing videos is my therapy. So, uh, you never know. <laughs> so, um, anyways. The reason I wanted to make this video is just to put a little bit of criticism into um, certain things that's going on right now because um, there was something that bothered me for days and I just couldn't be bothered. So I'm here to literally just explain everything. So let me give you the breakdown. So I was watching this uh, channel called House and I know them very well because one, um, they used to be, they are actually still known as Kick Genius. Um, these guys have been actually known for a very long time as probably one of the best sneaker reviews on YouTube back then. And it was crazy. But um, now they seem to have uh, fallen off the face of the earth. But it's fine. It's fine. Because um, over time, things have gotten better. And um, they've gotten a little older since then. Now, um, they've made this channel called House. Now, the reason I wanted to clear this up is because... One, uh, the reason I wanted to just talk about this is that they have been known to take certain hot takes, and I just brushed it off. I didn't bother by saying anything about it, but as soon as they literally brought up this particular video, I realized that uh, I may have been wrong about what I said about the whole thing about me brushing this off. The reason I didn't want to brush this off is because I, I should have known that they were going to start saying some stuff that wasn't exactly correct. Exactly correct. Now, some of the stuff they were saying is correct. Absolutely. But they said some things that were missing key information. And they decided not to say anything about it. And it just made zero sense. So I'm here to just cover that and make sure everything is clear on the topic. But um, nevertheless, let's get back into it, shall we? Jordan won more regular season MVPs, twice as many finals MVPs, nine more scoring titles. And we might have to pause, though, because I need to ask a question. I'm sorry. sorry. I feel like LeBron should have more MVPs. I, I but Jordan was a fan favorite, so he was able to get more. But does that not count for nothing, though? I'll tell you why. Because arguable. It's arguable he, he deserved one of Charles Barkley. So let's go there, though. And it's arguable he deserved one of Clyde Rogers. That would give him seven. seven. Right, right. That nigga yeah, LeBron, LeBron, though, LeBron, do for about at least seven to nine. Yeah. He could have got an MVP every year, too. He was on that same, uh, but he damn near did, though. That's what I'm saying, though. George, George damn near did get it every year. Well, I mean, he got like a third of his playing time. I don't know how long he played. But he was, such a, to he was such a fan favorite. 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 It almost it made, made sense. sense. Not like, like niggas already knew, like, it's George, hands down. He got hold too, though. But see, but niggas was holding him, like, LeBron, LeBron for real. Okay, so when, did, when did he deserve his first MVP? Who, LeBron? LeBron? When he came in the league. No, that's false. Maybe the year after, though? No, no. Hmm. Then he, he jumped from like, he came in averaging like 24, 25. I think, like, I think like 20. Then he came like 20. I want to say 25, 26. When niggas, can we kill him in the 27? I don't remember. I think it's like 25. Right? Yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah. But right, right around that time, remember, that's when Kobe was fucking niggas up. So was Nash. That's when Nash and got the MVP. It was right after he came in. I can talk it. Kevin Garnett got the. I think Kevin Garnett got the MVP that year or some shit. But see, I, I can. I can the, the early years, I feel you. But that was that, that span was that though with the heat. The heat, yeah, bro. Yeah, they was hoeing that man. Okay, what about Derrick Rose MVP year? He deserved that year. The baby. I, I always think about who he went up with us. I think I think you get Derrick Rose here just because of age. Number one seed. Youngest young nigga, twenty two years old in the team. LeBron. Yes, still technically is the most valuable. But see, and then in that. If Jordan's in that position, they don't give a fuck about no age or none of that. Jordan, boom. That's why, well, I don't think Clyde gets it. Okay, so that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. So, I want to actually talk about that part because Jay does have a point, but there's a minor issue. Now, a lot of people need to understand that the reason that Mike even got those MVPs is because he actually, actually did hit a very score huge scorching limit, and not that many people in the league were actually getting that much as Mike. And besides Clyde Drexler 
and Charles Barkley, Michael Jordan actually did earn a lot of those MVPs. It's not like that's not the case at all. The fan favorite thing I can kind of see for multiple reasons. And that's just not surprising to me at all. Because like I said before, that's fair enough. And I can see why they would actually have that type of conversation. And no matter what, the MVP thing, it, it depends um, if they actually deserve it. So you already know. That's why that, that stat doesn't matter. They, they, no, hell, that matter. What the fuck? No, it don't, because both of them niggas is the most valuable time. Anytime the niggas is playing, they're the most valuable. We know that. Cool, that get three or six or nine. Oh, oh, but all niggas deserve it every year. I don't think you can say that. Then Tom Cole was only. Like, for, as far as... He didn't get it when Kobe was at his peak. He didn't get it when Kobe was at his peak. He didn't get it. So I wanted to make this video to let people know that I accidentally made a incorrect fact and... That's my fault. <laughs> um, so please understand that that's my fault. Um, but LeBron literally got two MVPs during Kobe's back-to-back -back championship run in 2009 and 2010. So that narrative right there is very much misconstrued. Deals per game, blocks per game, free throw percentage, and fewer turnovers. LeBron leads in the other three, assists per game, rebounds per game, and field goal percentage. But that's a pretty simplistic way of looking at statistics. What if we instead turn to analytics? Probably the most well-known analytics stat is player efficiency rating, or PER for short. This metric was created by respected basketball analyst John Hollinger to give an overall. I just know though. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then that's And they do that. What about value over replacement player? Which on its face seems to well, value over means nothing, bro. Yeah, it actually does. <laughs> the reason it matters is because of the fact that, yeah, you call LeBron the king of PER, say he's better than this, that, and this, that, and this, that. Well, why don't we turn to analytics? And if we bring statistics into this, why don't we bring analytics to it? That's pretty much what he's saying in this video to put into context. But, of course... <sighs> Dre's one of those narrow-minded dudes that uh, only focus on performances, which is fair because, like I said, he plays as a basketball player, and that's fair. Does only focus on the performances. I can't blame him for that, but you can't really take that away considering how many LeBron fans have actually done that. I've literally decided to use statistics and not bring up analytics as a result, so... It's good to bring that up, is what I'm saying. And that takes us to the last category in our GOAT analysis, the eye test. There you go, try it. Go crazy. I'm already Jumps higher. None of that is relevant unless we're having a track and field competition. And frankly, if physical measurables mattered, then George Murison would be in the GOAT conversation. I mean, technically, yes. Murison will be um, definitely in that debate because, like I said before, centers are literally... Literally a bit stronger since they have that physique. I've always said that. If they're a bit bulkier to fit that conversation and a bit taller, a bit bigger, centers are going to get that type of advantage. So you can't really say that. For LeBron, it's not even close. LeBron, in fact, has four major weaknesses as a basketball player. Yeah, they just hit him Each of which is actually apparent to anyone who has actually watched him play. First, he's not a good free throw shooter. That's a lot. For his career, LeBron has shot around 73.5% from the free throw line, which is pretty poor for a player who handles... No, that's average too. 73% is not exactly average. Uh, the average for a regular NBA player who's definitely handled the ball as much is roughly around 75%. If you look at the NBA's free throw percentage almost every year, it's a Above, and I'm not even joking, it's literally above 75%. And the fact that you literally said that 73% is average for an NBA player. I know people could get that confused, so I just want to let you know and correct that to you that uh, it's 75%. Let's on the shooting guard thing because there's been more great shooting guards or small forwards than shooting guards. What's your point? Again, like I said, the majority of this argument is majority about them and what their weaknesses are. Somehow, they go for positions, immediately went for, for positions. Let 
me tell y'all that the thing that they're talking about right now is complete squabble. <laughs> they're really just trying to cover up the almost the half hour mark just to prove a point that <laughs> they're obviously upset at the fact that apparently this man is biased. But you, to be quite fair, and I'm going to say this right now, he's he would have literally said this towards Michael if it was the same case. He would have said the same thing. Trust me. Let me tell you something. Anybody who's literally done any type of research, they will literally tell you that it's not one side or the other. They can literally say the same thing about both. The difference is, is that if they have those weaknesses, they're going to discuss it. And it's going to be a problem for them. But at the same time, there are going to literally have those times where, yeah, they're going to literally say things that you don't like. It happens. Like I said before, anybody who does research and, and all this shit knows that it's not really that serious. He's literally going through every single thing that he's asked. And he's doing it for eye test. If he's saying that. If he has four major weaknesses, it makes sense. I just have a weird time with these dudes. I really just don't understand how the hell they think that that's the notion. Like, you can have your opinions, and that's fair. Again, like I said, people can have their opinions. But the fact that you're having a squabble about the fact that different positions are better than others, this kind of shows you that you're not paying attention to the entire point of the video. <laughs> You're completely misinterpreting what the video is trying to portray, but hey, it is what it is. All these highlights are showing LeBron not playing defense. He's with the Lakers. He's old. That notion that LeBron is old. He can play defense. Mike literally played at the age of 40, 38 to 40, playing in the NBA. He still was playing defense. So this notion that Mike was never playing defense is kind of a lie and a lot of people act like well LeBron is too old to play he, he's 37 and to be quite fair he should be at least at this very point he should be playing defense consistently if he wants to that's up to him but going back to what I was saying when it comes to this debate he's proving a point that LeBron lacks in defense regardless of what age he is Keep in mind, Michael Jordan has had this type of mentality of literally, and I'm not joking, had this mentality of st having steals and blocks and literally being a, an elite defender since he first came into the NBA. And even when he went to the Wizards, I even said this before, he still was playing defense. Sure, it was not the same numbers he was pulling up as he used to, but at the same time, he was still playing defense. It's not like he wasn't. Of course, he was still playing defense. <laughs> Even as a 40 year old, he was busting his tail on the defensive end. No, no, mm. so it's not tough. Tough. Yeah, it's not tough. 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 Where, where are all the games? <laughs> you can find some of the clips on YouTube. Literally, you can find some of the highlights. You can find all the one hour games on, on the Wizards. The two years he played on Wizards, you can find all those games. It's not hard to find. You can literally find all the footage. On basketballreference.com, literally, they have some of the game footage from maybe some from the um, late '80s and '90s. Hell, they even have some the ones from the Wizards too. Like you can find that shit on Basketball Reference. Well, I'm saying no, that nigga old too. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, he's still one foot. Right, right, right. right. This is still the The whole point of this video dub is literally just to prove a point that he was still consistently a elite defender, regardless of how, how old he got. So that's about it. Um, I wanted to basically end this video off by saying that. The video part that I was also supposed to cover was the fact that uh, Dub mentioned that um, it's team ball. Although that is correct, some of the stuff that you have to give respect to the players who have literally became franchise players after either giving them a championship or probably leading them farther into the playoffs, you have to literally give respect to them. And when you do, they become the sole icon of the team. 
because they either win the championships that they deserve or led them to the playoffs that they were supposed to do. And that happened. But like I said before, they're not going to get that. And that's fair because, like I said, they're not going to really do that much research. They're only going to base everything by basketball performance and all that stuff because you literally saw Dre say that he was excited for only the eye test. And it just shows you that they're only about performances. So that's not really surprising to me at all. But to completely end this off, I just want to say that do not send hate to them. Just be mindful that some of the things that they're saying is correct, but they're missing key points. That's all I'm saying. They're missing key points, and that is it. So please just know that. Also, another thing I want to mention is that championships are a team effort. That is a team effort. But would you say the same thing if their number one optional player was gone? And what I mean by that is that, like, if you're telling me that is a team ball, you're telling me they can replace the first option that easy. Depending on the player, they cannot. That's exactly why I say team ball is is sometimes a hard thing to debate because when you say that, you don't literally include the fact that most valuable player matters in this situation because those are individual achievements. I'm going to end it off here. Thank you all for being here. I'm out (sighs) because this debate was something else.